Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, can you Hello. hear? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Hi how are you teacher. doing? How are Hi, you doing? Teacher. How's everything? Fine? Okay. Right. Fine. Excellent. How are you doing with the platform? Good. Good. All right, that's nice. Did you complete the section number three? Yes. And the midterm exam? No. No. Not yet. No, not yet. No. Okay. But well, you're, I think that you're doing good. Because if you have completed the section three, that's okay. Okay. All right. So you're here early. Let's begin with this. Okay, to finish the section number three, we only have pending this reading. That's an exercise is to practice up. We're going to read, practice pronunciation, and try to remember the activities that you can do in each place so you can answer the questions later. And with this. Okay, this reading is similar to the one that you have in the platform. What you have to do is just to pay attention to the activities that you can do in every place so you can answer later. Uh, do I have a volunteer to read the number one? I'm volunteer. Okay, thank you so much. Read the number one, please. Start your walking to at Edinburgh Castle. Climb uh, 187 steps to the top of Castle Hill for a great view. Then take a tour, take a tour of the castle. Okay, thank you so much. Just repeat, climb up. Climb up. Climb up. Climb. 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 Uh -huh. Climb up. Climb up. Climb up. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Climb number up. Number two. Volunteer, number two. Rosie. Okay, Rosie. Me. Walk down uh, the Royal Mile three blocks to St. Giles Cathedral. Go inside and look at the colorful windows. Very good, thank you so much. Number three, volunteer. I am Andrea. Okay, Andrea. Yeah. Take a break at a Spoon Cafe, go down the Royal Mile and to right on Soul Beach. The restaurant is on the left. Okay, thank you so much, nice. Number four, volunteer. Me, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, thank you. You're almost at the Museum of Childhood on the right on the Royal Mile. There's a great collection of toys, dolls, and games here. Okay, thank you so much. Number five. Me, Douglas. Okay, Douglas, thank you. Continue down the Royal Mile. Stop at the Museum of Edinburgh to learn about the history of Scotland. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Number six. Teacher. Yes. Es que alguien respire en el micrófono. Sí, hay que alejarse un poquito. <laughs> hay que alejárselo, ¿verdad? No sé, quizás ponerlo un poquito abajo. Uh -huh. Ok. Number six, volunteer. Good night, Roxana. Ok, Roxana, thank you. And you're working during... Hollywood Park, right behind, behind. Okay. right behind the museum. 
Behind the museum. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, I'll give you one minute for you to read again. Read, read fast. Just read so you can answer the following questions. <clears throat> Okay, now let's try to answer these questions. Where can you rest and eat lunch? Do you remember? Let's spoon cafe. Let's see. At the spoon cafe, very good. You have a good memory. Where can you learn about Edinburgh history? Yeah. Where Mi can you learn about the cathedral? No. The museum? At the Museum of Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. Number three, where can you take a tour? Of the castle. Yes, that's right. In the Edinburgh Castle. Where can you see beautiful windows? Giles. Uh, the cathedral. At the G St. Giles Cathedral. <laughs> yes, at the cathedral. Where can you see all games? Where can you see all the games? No, nobody remembers? No, no. No. <laughs> At the Museum of Childhood. At the Museum of Childhood. But yeah, your, your memory is pretty good. <laughs> yes. What things do you hate to do? What things do you hate to do? Uh, do you know hate? Hate. 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 The pictures or the other? No, 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 it's hate, just... Hate is, is odiar. Uh-huh, odiar. Oh, what things do you hate oh, to do? I, I hate, I hate get up... Uh, early in the morning. Uh, early in, in the morning, right. Okay, <laughs> so you say, I hate to get up early in the morning. Okay, <laughs> good. Another volunteer? I hate... To eat a pacaya. Oh, <laughs> you hate to eat pacayas. Okay. What they are delicious. Okay. <laughs> In rellenos. <laughs> okay. Another volunteer? Mm -hmm. Another volunteer. Okay, let us see. These are the top eight things people hate to do. Okay, this is according to some surveys in United States. People hate Stand in line. 
Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand Exercise. Exercise. Working work in the yard. Working work in the yard. Working in the yard. Work 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 Clean the house. Clean the, the house. house. Open the mail. Open, Open the, mail. the mail. One more time. Let's repeat. Stand in line. Stand, Stand in, in line. line. Do laundry. Do laundry. Do laundry. Travel to work. Travel, Travel to work. work. Go, to work. Go, to work. Go to meetings. Good Good meeting. Meeting. Exercise. 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 Work in the yard. Work, Work in, the in the yard. Clean the house. Clean the house. Clean the house. house. Open, the Open the mail. Open the mail. Open the mail. Teacher. Okay. Yes. What is go to meeting? Ir a reuniones. Oh. Uh, juntas. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go to meetings. Do you have meetings at work? Yes. <laughs> Do you like? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> I hate meetings too. <laughs> Especially with people that start like yeah. sharing experience and like uh, I want to go there speaking, speaking, speaking and talking. Okay. okay. Let's see this conversation. Do you like to study or do you hate to study? So so. So so. It depends. Depends. Uh huh. For example, mm -hmm. I hate to study mathematics, but I love to study English. So it depends. Mm -hmm. What about you? Mm -hmm. Do you like to study or do you hate to study? Mm. I think you like it. I think you like to study because you are having classes so no later time. Okay, let's see this conversation. As you can see, there are well two students because I see them on sitting on desk. I see a blackboard here. So I think that they are students. They are having a test. He looks very worried. She looks very confident. Let's see what happened in the conversation. Let's repeat. Hi, Amy. Do you have a good weekend? Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. You have a good weekend? Do you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, so I'm a little tired today. Well, I have, well, I have a busy weekend. weekend. Well, I am a little tired today. today. Really? Why? Really? Why? 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 Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my room and I cleaned, did laundry, and I shopped. Then I visited my parents. <laughs> Well, well, on Saturday, Saturday I exercise in the morning. Then my, my roommate, I clean the laundry, laundry and shop, and, 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 and then I visit, then I visit, I visit, visit my, my parents. Visit my parents. Okay. Well, um, in in English, uh, there are well in these sections we are starting section number four. In these sections, we are going to study the simple past. The simple past with regular verbs and pasado simple con verbos regulares tiene tres pronunciaciones mm. diferentes. ¿Qué son los verbos regulares? Any idea? Que, que no cambian con su, okay. con mm. su tiempo. Uh, ¿Tiene alguna idea? Eh, los verbos regulares son los que siguen una regla de uh, spelling. Ellos siguen una regla para hacer su cambio. Por ejemplo, los que son en pasado, la mayoría sigue una regla de que se les agrega ED. 
en el caso del verbo exercise, ya termina en E. Por lo tanto, para hacerlo pasado, solo se le agrega la D. Clean termina en N, ¿verdad? El verbo clean, limpiar. Se le agrega ED para hacerlo pasado. Shop, se le ha duplicado la última consonante que es P y se le ha agregado ED. Esas son spelling rules. ¿Cuándo voy a duplicar la P? ¿Cuándo voy a agregar solo la D? ¿Cuándo voy a agregar ED? A eso se le llaman spelling rules. O reglas como de, del deletreo, de, de, de cómo se conforman. Entonces los regulares son los que siguen reglas. Los irregulares cambian totalmente y no hay manera de decir qué regla seguir. Lo único que puede hacer es memorizarlos. ¿Ok? En presente simple, en pasado y en participio hay regulares y también hay irregulares. En esta sección, bueno, ahora vamos a estudiar los regulares. Tienen tres pronunciaciones. El caso de exercise. No decimos exercised. You say exercise, solo d, un sonido de d al final. I exercised in the morning, then my roommate and I cleaned, es another sound, did laundry and shopped. Ese tiene un sonido shop. como una t al final. No se dice shop. chopped, sino que shopped. Uh -huh. Suena como con una t al final. Y este, visited, suena como con ir. Visited. Visited. Ajá, son tres pronunciaciones. Estas las vamos a estudiar más adelantito. Tal vez mañana creo que vamos a ver las pronunciaciones. Ok. So for today, let's, let's repeat again. Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Let's repeat. Well, well, on Saturday, 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 So, what did you do on Sunday? So, so what, what did you, you do on Sunday? Sunday? I studied for the test all day. I studied, I studied for the test all, 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 all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched TV all the weekend. Oh, oh no. no. Do we, we have, have a test today? today? Didn't study. 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 Didn Bien, es como para evitar quizás tanto el ok. Ok, I did this and so you say, uh, well, bien, yo hice esto y esto y esto y esto. Es una expresión como para decir bien. Ah, ok. Bien, uh, hice esto, ok, yo lo hago, pero es just an expression. Ok, gracias. Ok. Any other question? Okay, let's repeat it one more time. Hi, Amy, do you have a good weekend? Hey. Hi, Amy, do you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. Well, I had a busy weekend. So I'm a little tired today. So I'm a little tired today. Really? Why? Really? Why? Really? Why? Really? Why? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Well, well on Saturday, I, I exercised in, exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Did laundry. Did laundry. Did laundry. And shopped. And shopped. Then I visited my parents. Then I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? 
So, so what, what do you do on Sunday? Sunday? I studied for all the day. test all day. I studied for the test all, 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 all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? Oh no, oh, no. We, we have, have a test, test today. today. I didn't study, I just watched TV all weekend. Okay, two volunteers to practice the conversation. Me, teacher Rosy. Okay, Rosy and Carlos. Okay, Rosy and Carlos. You can start, Carlos. Okay. Hi, Amy. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a busy weekend, so I'm a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then, then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopping. And then I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no. Do we have a test today? I did study. Sí. Just watch TV all weekend. Okay, remember it's shopped. Shops. Shopped. Shops. Shopped. Como conté al final, shopped. Sure. Okay, very good. Now, another two volunteers? Roxana. Okay, Roxana, Roxana and Andrea. Yes. Hi, Hi Amy. Amy. Okay, okay. You, Roxana. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, so I am a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my room and I clean the laundry and shop, and then I visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh, no. Do, have, do we have a test today? I didn't study yet. Okay, so you say, I didn't study. I didn't study. I didn't study. Mm -hmm. All right, let's listen to Pedro, a volunteer to practice with Pedro. Catherine. Okay, Catherine. You can start, Pedro. Okay. Uh, hi, Annie. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, so I'm a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, day my roommate, and I clean, did laundry, laundry and shopping, and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no. Do do we have a test today? I didn't study. Just watch it TV all weekend. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Just let's repeat. Shopped. 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 Uh -huh. Study. 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 Uh -huh. Study. 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 Okay, very nice. Now, uh, well, as I told you before, this is just to practice the simple past. Uh, but before we, um, to make affirmative negative statements and the spelling, I have a presentation so you can watch it and um, well, I'm going to explain. Uh, it is not necessary to take notes while I'm going to send the presentation probably tomorrow in the morning. Because I'm a little tired today. 
I want to sleep early. <laughs> okay, the past simple with regular verbs. Uh, we use the past simple to talk about things that happened in the past, as the name said, right? The simple past is to talk about past events, okay? Past. Now, the time expressions that you can use to refer to past event are, for example, yesterday, last week, last month, last year, uh, a year ago, the day before, the week before, or in 2010, for example. Do you have any question regarding this vocabulary? Not. No. No, no questions. No. Okay. These are time expressions that can help you when you are um, talking in past. In affirmative statements to talk about past, this is easier than a simple present, I think, because you just have to add ed to most of the verb to make it in past. So, and it's the same for all the subjects. Es lo mismo para todos. No hay te, que tercera persona, que si es primera persona. Es el mismo auxiliar, es la misma regla para todos los, los uh, pronouns o personas, sujetos. I, he, she, it. Es lo mismo, no tiene que ir conjugando aparte con otro auxiliar. Uh, si va a hacer oraciones afirmativas, entonces ahí es donde conjugamos el verbo en pasado. Um, por ejemplo, I played. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? Yo jugué. Yo jugué. Yo jugué. Ajá. I played. Yo jugué. Now, he, she, or it played is the same. We, you, they played. All right. Aquí van las spelling rules que les comentaba. Okay, those are the spelling I was talking about. Um, a la mayoría de verbos solamente se les agrega ed o d, como dice acá, infinitive plus ed or d. El verbo en infinitivo más ed o d. Uh, for example, the verb visit, el verbo visit, para hacerlo en, pas en pasado, Solo agregamos ed. Visit equals visited. Right? Visit, visited. Love, como el verbo love termina en e, no le vamos a, de, a añadir otra e, solo vamos a añadir la de. Right? Para todos los verbos que terminen en e, para hacerlos pasado, solo le agrega la de al final. Loved. Ok. Hay dos uh, formas de conjugar cuando los verbos terminan en Y. Si se fijan acá, estos dos verbos enjoy y study terminan en Y. Cuando terminan en vocal más Y, por ejemplo, el verbo enjoy, usted se fija que hay una vocal antes de la Y. Enjoy tiene la O antes de la Y, vocal antes de Y, solo agregue la ED. Pero si el verbo termina con una consonante antes de la Y, el caso de study, por ejemplo, le vamos a eliminar la Y, cambiarla por I latina y agregar ED. Ok. Si los verbos constan de una sílaba, como ya lo hemos dicho anteriormente, la pronunciación en inglés es lo que define el número de sílabas. La, el verbo stop, bat, solo se escucha una sílaba. Stop, bat, one syllable. Y lleva estrés, tiene fuerza de voz, a eso me refiero. Uh, stop, bat. Y terminan en... La terminación de estos es consonante, vocal, consonante y lleva estrés. Cuando eso sucede, yo duplico la última consonante y luego agrego ed. Okay. Recuerdan que shop 
también le, le duplicábamos la T y agregábamos ED por eso mismo, porque sigue esta regla. Ok, but, but, is, right? Es lo mismo. Si tiene dos sílabas, para aplicarle esta regla, el estrés debe de caer en la segunda sílaba. El estrés debe de caer en la segunda sílaba y en esa segunda sílaba debemos de ver la terminación consonante, vocal, consonante. El verbo permit tiene dos sílabas. Permit. Escucha las dos sílabas, ¿verdad? Permit. Y el estrés está en la última, terminando esta en consonante, vocal, consonante. Cuando eso sucede, duplicamos y agregamos ed para hacer pasado simple del verbo. Question so far? ¿Cómo pronuncio eh, permit en pasar? Permitted. Con id. Okay. La id al final. Permitted. Ok. Gracias. Ok. Esto no es necesario que lo copien. Se los voy a enviar, como les repito, a su grupo de WhatsApp mañana temprano. Si Dios permite. Ok. Para hacer oraciones afirmativas en pasado decíamos que vamos a ir conjugando el verbo a pasado agregando ed a la mayoría de casos. Por ejemplo, Tom found his best friend. Aquí el verbo es found. En español diríamos telefonear, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok, Tom found his best friend. Ahora. En el caso de las oraciones negativas, cuando vamos a hacer una oración negativa en pasado simple, utilizamos un auxiliar. Did not, que en su forma corta es didn't. Cuando hacemos oraciones negativas, ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué pueden ver ustedes acá? Estamos hablando en pasado, ¿verdad? Estamos estudiando el pasado. Usted ve acá, dice, I didn't play. He, she, or he didn't work. We, you, they didn't watch. ¿Qué sucedió ahí? El verbo no cambia. El verbo no cambia. Exacto. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando estoy haciendo oraciones negativas, utilizo un auxiliar. En este caso, utilizo específicamente did not. En la función del auxiliar es indicarme el tiempo. En este caso ya el auxiliar indica pasado. Al estar el auxiliar indicando el tiempo, ya no necesito conjugar el verbo. El verbo solo lo va a conjugar en oración afirmativa. En negativa no conjugue el verbo. Utiliza auxiliar y no conjuga el verbo. Lo mismo sucede en pregunta. Cuando usted formula una pregunta, utiliza el auxiliar. Por lo tanto, el verbo no se conjuga. No conjuga en negativa y no conjuga en pregunta. pregunta. Uh -huh. Solo va a ir conjugando cuando esté haciendo oraciones afirmativas. Vean el ejemplo acá. They didn't study for the math test. They studied for the history test. Así, negativa, no conjugo el verbo. Afirmativa, sí lo conjugo. Ok, nos vamos a adelantar un poquito viendo las, la forma de pregunta. Estas son las preguntas cortas. Okay. Pero creo que para no ir corriendo, vamos a hacer un ejercicio que es similar a los que tenemos en la plataforma. Ok. Acá pueden ver en este Grammar Focus, lo que tiene ahí son las oraciones afirmativas y negativas. Cómo hacer afirmativas y negativas en Simple Fast. Lo, como ya les expliqué, acá tenemos las afirmativas. I studied on Sunday. Estoy diciendo estudié el domingo. I studied on Sunday. No estudié el sábado. I didn't 
study on Saturday. I didn't study on Saturday. Okay. No conjugue el verbo porque estoy usando el auxiliar. That's the difference. Didn't is the short form of did not. Y luego está el spelling acá, lo que ya explicábamos, ok. Cuando terminan en Y y una vocal antes, no pasa nada, solo agrego ED. Watch. La mayoría ED. Exercise termina en E, solo le agrego la D. Study tiene una consonante antes de la Y. Entonces, cambio la Y por I latina, agrego ED. Shop. Una sílaba, estrés. Termina consonante, vocal consonante, duplico y agrego ED. Ok. Let's practice. Creo que lo voy a hacer más pequeño para que puedan ver allá arriba el Grammar Focus mientras en su cuaderno, en su cuaderno van a escribir este párrafo. Y van a ir conjugando el verbo en su forma correcta. Como ven acá, dice on Friday night, I, y el verbo es wait. Como estoy trabajando en pasado, I waited, waited for a phone call. But my girlfriend, aquí dice not, lo que me indica que necesito hacer la negativa. Y como ya estudié que negativo voy a usar didn't, no voy a escribir not. En pasado sí, no, es didn't y el verbo no lo, con, no lo conjugo, lo dejo en call siempre. But my girlfriend didn't call. So you have to write it in your notebook and use the correct form of the verb in parentheses. I'll give you five minutes.
Have you finished? Yes. <laughs> okay. Everybody finished? No. I'll give you one more minute. Okay. Okay, I'm going to just press this button and you will be able to check your answers. It says on Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed home and watched TV. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music. In the evening, he invited some friends and we cooked a great meal. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't study at all. I just walked to the mall and shopped. Notice the WP here, WP. Yes. Didn't study, don't worry, okay. Yeah. Were your answers correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. Yes. Do you have any questions so far? Do you have any question? No. No. Aquí al pronunciar como que solo hay que agregar una T al final a la hora de pronunciar. Mm, son tres diferentes pronunciaciones. Eh, mañana voy a Voy a traerles un material para que vean cuándo van a pronunciar con sonido final D, cuándo el sonido final es como una T y cuándo es con ID. ¿Qué es lo que están viendo acá abajo? Bueno, no lo vamos a hacer ahora por cuestión de planificación y tiempo. Ok, es esto que ven acá. Sí ven, ¿verdad? Notice the pronunciation of the, the simple past ED endings. También les voy a, a buscar un link de un video. Ese video es muy útil para que, uh, uh, bueno, se escucha ahí y, y está en inglés el video y ahí se explican las tres pronunciaciones de la ED. Right? Como les dije, es sonido final T, sonido final D, que este casi no se diferencia del presente. Y el it. Por ejemplo, word se pronuncia word. Word. Washed. In this case, cleaned. Stayed. Invited. Visited. Right? They end in it. So, bueno, eso lo vamos a ver mañana. O tal vez no mañana. Ok. Make the sentences so they are true for you. Vamos a hacer estas oraciones usando su propia información. Okay. Van a escribirlas en su cuaderno usando su propia información. For example, yesterday, yo no vi televisión ayer, casi nunca veo televisión. Yesterday, I didn't watch TV. 
Pero si usted vio televisión, usted va a escribir yesterday I watched TV. Y le escribe la de E de Albert. Last night I stayed home in my case. Last week I, I didn't clean the home. I was not. Last month I, I didn't shop for clothes. And last year I didn't visit a different country. What about you? Escríbanlas en el cuaderno con su información y luego los voy a poner en backup room. Okay, ready to share? Ready? Yes. Okay, yes. I'm going yes. to share. Me. Okay, read your sentences. I watched TV. Yesterday I watched TV. Okay. Last night I didn't stay home. Last week I clean I cleaned the house. Last month I didn't shop for clothes. Last year I visited a different country. Okay, nice. What country did you visit? I visited uh, Spain. Wow, great, interesting. Thank you so much. Another volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, yesterday I watched TV. Mm -hmm. uh, last night I stayed home. Uh, last week I didn't clean the house. Last month I chop I chop for clothes. Uh, last year I didn't visit a different country. Okay, very nice. Nice job. Another volunteer? Another volunteer. Me Carlos. Okay, Carlos, thank you. Okay. Yesterday I visit, I didn't watch TV. Last night, I didn't stay home. Last week, I didn't clean the house. Last month, I didn't chop for clothes. For clothes. Uh -huh. Clothes. 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 Yes, excellent. Okay. Last year, I didn't visit a different country. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Another volunteer?
No more volunteers? Okay, Pedro. Uh, yesterday I watched TV. Last night I stayed home. Okay. And last week I cleaned the house. Last month uh, I shopped. I shopped uh, for clothes. Last, and last shopped. Week, and shopped. 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 Excellent. There you have. Uh -huh. Last year, I didn't visit a different country. Okay. Nice job. Thank you so much. Another volunteer before we finish? I didn't. Okay. Thank you. Yesterday, I watched TV. Last night, I studied home. Last I stayed, week, I stayed, I washed. I mm -hmm. Remember, washed, watch. Watched. Yesterday, I watched TV. Last night, I stayed home. Very Last good. week, I cleaned the house. Nice. Last, not, last month, I didn't shop for clothes. Last year, I didn't visit it, visit a different country. Okay, very nice, nice job. All right, so we can stop here. Remember that the advantage, las ventajas de esta clase en vivo, es de que usted puede participar, puede corregir, así es que hay que aprovecharlas, okay? Thank you for joining today's section. Keep on practicing. And uh, see you tomorrow, if a God will. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, sleep Good well night. and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, Bye. take care. Bye. 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 Bye.